Hey guys, uh, I wanted to give a quick uh, mini tutorial today on how to do jump backs and jump throughs. Um, this is a quick way of transitioning um, back and forth through postures in the seated series. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get going. So we're going to start off with jump backs. So from the seated position, the idea is to tuck the legs in, push, lift, and jump back. Now, it's easy to say that. Let's actually break down what we're doing. So the first idea is you wanna get the knees as close to the chest as possible to get as much of the engagement through the abs and hips as possible. This is gonna make it feel light when you pick, when you pick yourself up. You can even squeeze your feet in a little bit more to really ball up. From here, you're gonna shift your weight slightly forward and push down through the shoulders. That's gonna help you get a little bit more lift. So you're here, and you can even, you can actually practice this, just by coming here and then pushing to lift up, because that's really the motion that you're trying to essentially uh, trying to execute. The idea is you want to do it quickly though. So you pull it all together, push, lift, and jump. All right, so we'll do that one more time. So from the seated position, crossing the feet, inhale. Now, there's a couple of ways you can actually uh, start to warm up to doing this. Um, it might not be something that's immediately accessible for you. For me, this wasn't something that came um, immediately. I started actually by rolling the weight forward and then pushing and jumping, right? So you're here sitting in the cross-legged position, just gently rolling the weight forward onto the feet and then simultaneously pushing up through the feet and hands to get the jump. And it's that motion that you can slowly transition by getting the feet behind the hands. So maybe you, you start off here and lift and push and then you move the hands next to the feet, lift and push, and then you maybe move the hands behind the feet, lift and push. And that'll be kind of the natural progression for your jump backs. Um, and the more proficient you get, the more it, it'll be easier for you to pick, cross, and push and then go here and then to downward facing dog. We'll continue uh, with jump throughs in the next one. We'll see you next time guys.